Hello viewers, welcome to JSM. In this lecture, we are going to discuss MSET previous year solutions. Chapter is Solutions and Colligative Properties. 2021 questions we are going to discuss. So first one, the freezing point of <coughs> an aqueous solution containing 25 gram of ethanol in 1000 gram of water is. So here we have to find out freezing point of the solution. Okay. So the solution is prepared by dissolving ethanol in water. Okay. So how can we calculate? We know that delta Tf is equal to Tf naught minus Tf. Okay. So depression in freezing point equal to the what is this? Freezing temperature or freezing point of pure solvent, and this is the freezing point of the solution. Okay. Clear. So from this we have to calculate, right? Now before that we don't know this. This is zero degrees because the solvent is here, water that is zero degree centigrade freezing point. So here first we should calculate delta T F. Okay. What is another expression for the depression in freezing point? Delta T F equal to I into K F into molality. Okay. So this is the formula to calculate depression in freezing point, right? Okay. See here now, what is molality? Molality, weight of the solvent by molecular weight, sorry, weight of the solute by molecular weight of solute into 1000 by weight of the solvent okay so this is the expression for molality okay now let us substitute here see i is equal to 1 okay for ethanol i equal to 1 because it do not dissociate and kf is provided here how much 1.86 and see weight of the solute 25 grams and molecular weight of ethanol c2h5oh is 46 into 1000 by weight of the solvent is given here as 1000 grams substitute here so after simplification here we get 1.01 okay delta tf we get 1.01 okay so now here we need freezing point of the solution right okay so from this therefore tf freezing point of the solution equal to freezing point of pure solvent minus delta Tf that equal to 0 minus 1.01 so here we get minus 1.01 degree centigrade but in the options it is very close to this one so option D is the answer ok clear this is one of the most important formula so many times questions are asked in the MSET related to this formula right which of the following mixture form an ideal solution? See here, what is an ideal solution? The solution which obeys Raoult's law at all pressures and temperatures is considered as an ideal solution. Okay, so to behave a solution as an ideal solution, in that case, solute, solute and solvent, solvent interactions should be very similar to the solute, solvent interactions. Okay, this is one condition very, very important. And there should be no association or dissociation. Okay, so how to identify the ideal solutions easily? See here we can easily identify by comparing these characters. Okay, see that substances which have similar structures and polarities, they can form almost ideal solution. And the substances which have similar chemical character, similar chemical character, they also form ideal solutions. And members of the homologous series, generally they are also obey Raoult's law. Okay, so here, according to this, this will be our answer. See, N-hexane plus N-heptane. See here, if you consider this, CCL4, C7H8, this is toluene. These two are not chemically similar characters. They do not have not chemically similar, similar characters. Similarly, these are also. See here, water and alcohol. And here, chloroform and benzene. They all have different chemical behavior. And polarity is also different in this example. So that's why this is the answer. They are homologous. And 
they are chemically they have very very similar character so that's why this is the answer very very important this type of questions are also many times asked in the mset next match the following columns okay so here first one ebullioscopic constant see this ebullioscopic constant is associated with the elevation in boiling point okay associated with elevation in boiling points and this is the expression okay and cryoscopic constant this is associated with the depression in freezing point depression in freezing point okay so here delta tf equal to i into kf into m okay and henry's law henry's law gives information about the solubility of a gas in liquid solubility of a gas in liquid and this is the expression okay and dalton's law okay so this is we get we have dalton's law of partial pressures what is that the sum of the partial pressure of individual or component gases equal to total pressure sir no okay so here this is the expression so from this option c is the correct one see for a third option elevation of boiling point for b depression of freezing point for b 1 okay like this third option is the correct answer on mixing urea the boiling point of h2o change it to 100.5 degree centigrade calculate the freezing point of the solution okay if kf of water is 1.87 and kb of water is 0.52 see here kf is given and also kb is also given what we have to find out we have to find out the freezing point of the solution okay so to get the freezing point of the solution what we should know we should know delta tf okay we should know delta tf already we did one problem right just now okay so now here this is the provided information now from this first we can we can calculate delta tb elevation of boiling point okay delta tb equal to see here 100.5 minus 100 okay 100.5 it is already given boiling point of the solution what is this boiling point of the pure solvent that is water okay so from this we have here 0 0.5 degrees centigrade and now see here if the molality is same so in both the expressions we have molality and for the same solution for the same solution if molality is same in that case we can write molality equal to okay from this expression we can write delta tb by kb that is equal to delta tf by kf see because here also i equal to 1 what is the solute here urea i equal to 1 okay and here from this the solutions molarity same so that's why what we are taking so delta tb by kb equal to delta tf by kf so from this we can get let us take these two okay so what we are going to find out we need delta tf okay so delta tf equal to delta tb by kb into kf okay so now substitute here the given values delta tf equal to delta tb okay so delta tb we got here as 0 0.5 by kb is given here okay kb is given as 0 0.52 into kf kf is given 1.87 1.87 okay so after simplification here we get this is equal to 1.8 degrees centigrade 1.8 degrees centigrade okay so from this i am writing here so from this now we have delta tf but we need freezing point of the solution that is tf equal to 0 minus 1.8 degrees centigrade that is equal to minus 1.8 degrees centigrade so option c is the answer yes or no okay see this already we did same type of problem just now we discussed clear 
see how many times questions are asked related to these two relations very very important these two elevation of boiling point and depression in freezing point the kh values for four different compounds are given and we have to identify the correct increasing order of their solubilities okay see just now we discussed in another question also henry's law is associated with the solubility of a gas in liquid and this is the expression right okay so from this we can write kh equal to pressure of the gas by mole fraction of gas that is nothing but solubility of the gas okay so from this suppose at a particular pressure okay at a particular pressure we get kh is inversely proportional to solubility of gas sir no from this at a particular pressure means pressure is constant so now kh is inversely proportional to solubility of gas okay so from this what we can say if kh is more solubility is less if kh is less solubility is more so from this which of the following have the highest kh value see argon has the highest kh value means it has the lowest solubility okay so from this you can eliminate these two options and next here which one has the lowest kh value see this one third one formaldehyde has the lowest kh value so it have the highest solubility so our option d is the answer okay so very simple kh is inversely proportional to solubility of the gas okay so for argon kh is very high and for formaldehyde kh is very low so that's why it is less soluble and it is more soluble so this is the correct order next if 500 ml of calcium chloride solution contains 3.01 into 10 to the power 22 chloride ions molarity of the solution will be what is the formula to calculate molarity what is the definition of molarity number of moles of solute present in 1 liter of solution okay so this is the expression number of moles of solute present in 1 liter of solution if volume is given in milliliter so here we get volume of the solution in milliliters into 1000 we know this formula very well very simple formula okay and now here but we don't know the number of moles of calcium chloride just they have given the number of chloride ions number of chloride ions okay see here let us see calcium chloride dissociate like this okay one molecule will give two chloride ions so here it is given that number of chloride ions equal to these many okay now but we need number of moles of cacl2 so before that we should calculate number of molecules of cacl2 okay so number of molecules divided by avogadro number we get the number of moles right so from this one see one molecule gives to two chloride ions right so that's why here number of cacl2 molecules equal to 3.01 into 10 power 22 by 2 why see two chloride ions from one molecule so that's why here these are the number of chloride ions but we need number of calcium chloride molecule so that's why divided by 2 so here if we simplify this 1.505 into 10 power 22 we get okay now we need number of moles of cacl2 how we get number of moles divided by avogadro number okay so number of moles what is the number of molecules 1.505 into 10 power 22 by avogadro number 6.022 into 10 power 23 so these are the number of moles of cacl2 in the solution now let us substitute in the molarity formula so molarity equal to number of moles of cacl2 1.505 into 10 power 22 by 6.022 into 10 power 23 into <coughs> 1000 by volume in milliliter okay so that is 500 ml of solution so if we simplify this finally we get 0.05 molar so that is first option is correct okay so this is the formula for molarity but they didn't give number of moles they gave number of chloride ions from that we calculated number of calcium chloride molecules 
from that we calculated number of moles of calcium chloride molecules in the solution then we substituted here okay next which of the following will form an ideal solution see second question already we discussed right see this all i have explained already so here option d is the answer because this is benzene and this is toluene they have similar chemical character six okay so that's why these two form an ideal solution see if you consider alcohol and water different chemical character and different polarities and hno3 and h2o they are different chloroform and acetone they are also different okay so these two are chemically almost very similar in character so that's why they form an ideal solution okay 